let's simply add x1 to x5 and see what we get. We get 5 minus 5, 0 minus 2 and 4. So they all add up to a positive 2. And thereafter it is saying that uh, xn is equal to xn minus 5. So the sixth term is going to be the same as first term. So basically these five terms will keep on repeating. Okay. So now if the sum is 18, what must have happened? This These five must have repeated themselves nine times. Okay. So sum of 45 terms is going to be 18. Okay. But it is saying that the sum of first p terms as well as p minus 3 terms is 18. So what is the value of p? So sum of 45 terms is 18. So whether p is 45? If p were 45, what would be the sum of 42 terms? So the last 3 would need to be subtracted from this. This 18 is the sum when all the terms were added and the previous 3 terms are these. Sum of the last 3 terms is positive 2. So the sum of 42 terms must have been a 16 and then 16 plus 0 plus minus 2 plus 4 must have made it 18. That means p cannot be 45 because if p were 45, the sum of 42 terms, p minus 3 terms is not 18. So that cannot be the case. Now see the sum of 3 terms here is again 0. So f sum of 45 terms is 18, sum of 48 terms is also 18 because the sum of these 3 terms is collectively 0. So that means p should be 48, sum of 48 terms is 18 and sum of p minus 3 for, that is 45 terms is also 18 and therefore the value of p is 48. This is one of my favorite questions.